Hello, my lovely Gemini. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies, Sun, Moon, Rising Science, and Venus Science. We're looking at this time to the fourth week in July, the week when we have a full moon in Capricorn, and the Sun goes in Cancer, the moon in Capricorn. Mercury goes direct. A lot of things here are changing. And you know, Gemini have been ruled by Mercury, your planet. Whatever you postpone, whatever you felt hard to do, now is the time, or now is a very good time to work on those issues or those things. As well, Capricorn full moon comes with the sextile Jupiter, which is abundance coming in, harmony, success. For some of you, there might be a, a good energy to start certain things at this time. Because, you know, full moons many times are considered for purging whatever we don't really need. But the full moons are the energy at its peak. So also it's good to start certain things which can blow strongly somewhere. Let's see here, Gemini, an overarching energy for this time. Six of Swords, moving on. Page of Cups, Two of Swords, Temperance, healing, moving towards healing. Is somebody here not talking to you? There is somebody here my needed to apologize and they did not. So you feel like if there is not enough communication, there is not enough of something, why continue? So there is that move. It's like, I don't know how to deal with it, but, you know, I will try to take it one day at a time. Instead, I feel here you, you would like to talk with this person and to resolve certain issues. Gemini. But feels is like at this time somebody here doesn't want to open up yet. With the temperance energy here, I feel here you you try to heal certain things here. Five of Wands. King of Pentacles. Chariot. Eight of Cups. Strength. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel here you, even you, you walked away from whoever, you still not feel like yourself. But yes, yeah, no talking. For some of you, you could get in an argument or a fight with somebody. But you, you realize many things here in regards to this person. Could be a water sign or could be um, an earth sign with water in the chart. You might have Leo or Sag or Piscean in the chart, but you are very, very intuitive, Gemini. And I feel here with the High Priestess and Judgment, you kind of deeply know that this is over. This is kind of like, you know, I gotta take myself back. I take my power back and just go forward. Also, look at this. The major and minor arcana of no communication. The communication was a big issue here with this person. Also, this person might have been dealing here secretly with other people. Or you might find certain secrets about them or whatever they've done here. And that was kind of a betrayal here. And now it's healing and moving on. There's a lot of major arcanas here. For some of you Geminis, you indeed have Sag in the chart. But Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance, Archangel Michael, and the Wheel of Faith here, which is the divine timing, is offering you healing, is moving you towards a healing face as we speak. And you know that you can go over all this let's see here five of wands what's the matter here 
three of swords yes this person could hurt you through their words or whatever they've done out there they could also for some of you this person could be married or you could find they are with somebody else or married actually yeah knight of cups they offer their love but not entirely or you could give their you could give your love to them and they try to play it. three of cups yes eight of cups you can you you could confront them and they they shut down basically i feel here they it's not ghosting energy but i feel here they they will feel like you know i don't want to talk about it and this is not true and it's kind of they try to ignore the matter or they try to lie yes page of pentacles they could tell you they walked away from somebody you know when you confront them basically and that could be a lie because deep down you knew that something here is not quite there it's not like they they could be separated but they could not be you know entirely you know divorced or out from that connection whatsoever i feel here this person wanted at an extent something good with you or they hoped something new for them basically ten of swords is like this person is full of surprises ten of swords the the hurt here was that this person could or you could find that they return or they could be back and forth with you back and forth with somebody else yes the the hardest part was that this person were were not true to themselves and you you might ask you yourself like why this person done this well some people does this you know they they quite not sure here whatever they need to yeah what i'm feeling here loves my gemini you strongly deal here with an earth sign okay i see earth all over the place the thing is this this person could return to somebody but as well will return to you at one point but i feel here now you you know very well this person what they are all about and i feel here you you are not allow a very little energy from them because they offer you very little and you know where you stand and how you are whatsoever they will come with some sort of truth to tell you about them but I feel here you you already know more than what they can share. You already know that. Let's see here. King of Swords. What about you? What you do now? And where you go, Gemini? Hermit. I feel here you, you could dig deeper here. For some of you, you are, you are quite intuitive. For others of you, you are asking a reader or a medium or somebody here who can, you know, uncover this mystery about this person. But I feel here you, you will look deep here into this matter that do I really need this person or not? Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands. It's like learning the things here and never ever lower yourself by any means basically 
and two of wands making decisions for yourself good job loves good good job gemini's let's see let's see here one oracle for you or one advice for gemini's breathe in the tribe and happy happy tick tock it's your time and you are moving taking a leap of faith into something new making a decision that i gotta do what i need to and also take care of me more and allow the universe to bless me with good energy and also to know who are truly those people good people around me it's kind of like a clean up energy who is good i'm allow it who is not good cut it off and i got no time for bs basically new life wow so a lot, believe it or not, Gemini, a lot of zodiac signs are moving forward, uh, starting new things, are uh, putting energy into new. And I see you too. Good job. And loves, that's what I have for you for this coming week. I thank you so, so much for coming in. And in tune with this energy. And if you feel this speaks to you. And this message is got to you. I'm glad to hear that in the comments. Don't hesitate to comment and leave your feedback. And as well, if you're always here, I thank you. If you are new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more content like this. Love and light. Namaste.